Hello everybody, welcome to Lisa Simmons Art. Today I'm going to be doing a resin painting and I'm going to be using art resin and this is a 16 by 20 canvas that we'll be using today. I'm going to try to do a sunset into the ocean theme. <laughs> I'm hoping it comes out like that. If it starts to go awry then we're going to go in a different direction with it. I started out by mixing my art resin. For a 16 by 20 canvas I needed 11 ounces. I went ahead and made it 12 ounces just to make sure I have enough. And I've already mixed equal parts of resin and hardener. I mixed them for three minutes as directed by art resin. And I've already put my colors into the little cups and mixed those up in order to save time. I'm going to be using colors from Stuart Semple. Those are colors that my daughter and son-in-law from England sent me for my birthday. So I'm going to be using some of those. Colors from the Color Cottage and then color from Black Diamond. All of the colors will be listed in the video description box. So let's get started. I'm gonna go ahead and put the rest of this resin that I have in here on top of the painting. So I just like to spread it around with my hand. I just find it easier to do that. I've already leveled my canvas. It's very important that it's level because resin is self-leveling and it's gonna go off to one side if your canvas isn't completely level. I've got my canvas sitting on my painting pyramids. I forgot to put tape along the bottom for resin drips. I'm gonna try not to let the resin just spill over the edge. I'm gonna try to control that and put it over myself. I mean, it may come over the edge and I may get resin drops because I totally spaced and forgot. So this is going to take a lot of blues and some pink and orange, yellow and purple. I'm going to go ahead and start putting the colors on the canvas where I think they should go. And I'm not going to name all these as I'm going, but they will be in the description box. Some beautiful blue colors here. So what I want to do is have like the ocean and then the sun setting into the sky above it. Dark purple for a land mass between the sky and the ocean. I probably should have used black, but I didn't have any. So I figured purple, it's dark. Maybe it'll pass, maybe not. It's still pretty colors. It's gonna be a, like a pink and orange and purpley sky, I hope. <laughs> this is called Blue Lit from Stuart Semple. And I'm not really sure how it's gonna look, but I'm gonna put that as the top of my sky here. It doesn't really look blue to me, but maybe it dries blue? Anyway, I don't think it's gonna ruin the painting if it doesn't. sky. I'm going to be using my torch to pop bubbles. You always need a torch of some type to pop bubbles in the resin. There's no way around mixing it and not getting bubbles. I want to try to show some depth in the water so I'm putting different color blues here. Maybe even a little touch of purple here and there. just did not go as planned. So I'm going to see if I can fix this any which way. I completely lost my purple landmass. I still want to take that yellow and put a sun in here.
seems like I did not have enough resin, even though I used the resin calculator. I don't know, it might have been me I'm trying to cover up these black spots. What I'm going to do is pour the sun, and I'm going to have to come back and work on this one some more. Apparently I did not have enough resin, even though I mixed extra from the resin calculator. Let me pour the sun right here. And what I'm gonna do is let this dry and then come back with some more resin and fill in all these places that didn't get enough resin on them. So stay tuned for part two. Okay, everybody, it's been about two days since I did this resin piece. And as I suspected, I didn't have enough resin for the piece. And I it dried with a lot of bare places on it. And so what I've done, I have already put a base coat of clear resin all over it. And I'm going to go back in with my colors and add more color. And we, I had a lot of spotty places here where you can see the black canvas through, through the um, colored resin. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and add my colors back in here. This time I should be able to have enough resin to get everything covered and looking beautiful. Okay, I'm liking that so far. Now I'm going to add some more of that fiery orange back in here.
And now I'm going to re-pour my sun. Okay, that took quite a while, but there you have it. There is my sun setting into the ocean. I'd like to thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. Stay tuned for close-ups and I'll see you next time. Bye!